Hey, Monopoly, it's Matthew, and I have a bone to pick with you. First and foremost, if you love Monopoly, and it's a game which bonded you and your family together through the tough times, the best of times, the worst times, if it's a, if it's a game that resonates with you on, on, on that sort of level, and, and you have nothing but respect for it, then great. You're in charge of what you like, and you should be happy that a game like that is giving you the entertainment it deserves. However, I'm still going to bash it. Monopoly is not a good game, and I can't even bring myself to enjoy it anymore. I've tried. I have tried to enjoy it. I've tried to put myself in a position where I can be like, I can enjoy Monopoly. But since I've started collecting a couple years ago, it's just, I just can't look at Monopoly the same way. There's so much better stuff out there that, that Monopoly is, cons is just completely low on the bar. And there's multiple reasons why Monopoly is just not a good game and I just can't bring myself to enjoy it anymore. For starters, the game presents itself as this complex like game. This, this game takes the strategy, it takes the will, the might, the fury. You gotta get right in there, you gotta play your cards right, you gotta trade, you gotta get your properties going. It plays this complex narrative. It, it makes you think that there's this huge complex thing around it. When in actuality, it's just too simple. There's really no strategy to the game. Like, don't get me wrong, there is some strategy. However, the game is just <laughs> stripped away of most of the strategy that would make a game like that good. For example, in a game where you're trading and, and you're collecting properties, what do you think are better conventions into making uh, something like that work? If you look at Settlers of Catan, you, they have a system where if you have a little village hanging around in certain areas, you can collect resources of those areas. And like by rolling the dice, it's a roll of the dice, but you're collecting resources from multiple areas that you might have placed villages down. That's a good system because you're almost guaranteed to have something to trade with other people. Or in Bonanza, where you have your hand of cards, and you're, you're putting down cards, you're planting them, but you're also drawing new cards on the offer table, and you're opening up the field for, for trades and trying to get what you want. That's a really good system. You feel like you have a, a chance of winning. In Monopoly, instead of focusing on card mechanics that involve, you know, drawing cards and then trading amongst each other. Instead, they rely on you to having to roll the dice in order to be able to make it to the property of your choice that you wish to purchase. And you're not guaranteed to get there. You might just roll and never land on it. And then what? This is my main gripe with the game. In a game where you're trying to have the most money once all the properties have been bought out, your goal, obviously, is to build hotels. In order to build hotels, you have to collect all properties of the color class. In order to collect those, you gotta land on them. And if another player has one of the card that you need to start building hotels, then you'll have to trade with that player. Which, again, that's not a problem. Trading is, is a good thing in games like this. However, it's like... Does that player want to trade with you? Like, or, or what? Or he's, you know, it's going to be like one of these deals where it's like, I'll give you it for like a million dollars. Like, oh, great. Great deal. I guess I'm just not going to, go, going to even bother with building hotels on this area anymore because, you know, this person's just going to cheat me out anyway. And what about going to jail? What a stupid, stupid concept. I'm not saying that going to jail in real life is stupid, okay? Like, I'm guessing this is like a real life simulator, I suppose, that, that, that what they were trying to do. I don't know. But you land on the go to jail space. What have I done? I have landed on a space that told me to go to jail. This is not democracy. This is, this is fascist. Then you go to jail and guess what you gotta do? If you don't have get out of jail free card, you're gonna have to roll doubles. And you know how long it takes people with bad dice luck to roll doubles? A lot. Like, okay, now I have to roll to get out while other players are, you know, just doing their thing. I'm still stuck in jail, waiting to roll doubles just so I can get out of jail. I think in, I think in later editions of Monopoly, you could actually pay to get out of jail. But still, the point still stands is that there's this reliance on dice rolls in order to best the game. In a game where it involves property trading 
and becoming like, you know, the biggest property tycoon on the market. It's just, it just doesn't work. Like you want to be more active with trades. You want to have an ability to leverage other people, but you also got to like land on the space. And I just hate that. I hate that. I can't like Monopoly anymore. Now, like to, you know, to the credit of the creators of Monopoly, the game has been around for decades. And so it's no surprise that a game like Monopoly didn't have the same like complexity as say Bonanza from the 90s. Or even like, you know, even go even further, say Magic the Gathering. So I'm not surprised that the game isn't as complex. However, the fact that this game is still getting printed and there's still the circulation and the surge of people wanting to play Monopoly is just, I, I can't, I can't enjoy it. It's one thing to look at that game and think to yourself, you know, there, there's a relic of board game history. There was like, you know, there was a time when people thought that was like the only good game in the world. But now, since we have this whole like expanded, you know, board game universe now where, you know, there's so many things that you can play in board games, why settle for Monopoly? I mean, there's no point. It's so below the bar that it just doesn't... It just doesn't hold up to what, you know, what potential we have out there now. But yeah, here we have a game that just is stupidly popular for no good reason anymore. Like, every time there's some sort of new trend in terms of pop culture, there's got to be a monopoly made about it. Is this just some occult tradition that pop culture enthusiasts have to endure just because oh this is this is life now when a new pop culture trend comes out you got to make a monopoly about it even though why uh why would you i think the only tolerable monopoly i have played so far is the spongebob monopoly and that was during a time where i was like spongebob this spongebob that spongebob is the greatest thing of all time mankind has ever seen but still in that version of Monopoly, you can choose to do the plankton variant, which is which means that you have this little plankton token that will move uh, across the board once per turn, and once it reaches go again, then uh, the game ends, and then whoever has the most money wins. Now that's a tolerable way of playing Monopoly, but that doesn't make it better. If anything, it just makes it this this ride. Where you're just rolling the dice and seeing, will I get more money? I hope so. Of course, it does does that get anyone into a mood where they want to be like, I need to start building hotels. I need to do all this stuff. No, it's just like, let's just wait till Plankton gets to the end. And then Bob's your uncle. So yeah, there you go. That's my problem with Monopoly. I, I cannot bring myself to enjoy it anymore. I don't think that ever is going to happen. Um, and if I am playing it on like... PC or whatever, Xbox or whatever. It's mostly going to be for for the goofs. It's mostly going to be ironically, really, if anything. Anyway, let me know what your opinion on Monopoly is. Um, you know, you might completely disagree with what I said, and that's totally fine. If Monopoly is, like, your favorite game, then great. I'm, I'm glad that you're finding enjoyment out of it. I just personally can't. So if you like this video, leave a like. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, you can, of course, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.